Okay, as you guys can see, we're doing something different today. Um, this is Tech Tool. We're working on a Volvo D13. Um, I just wanna make a quick video just about how I work on these and what I currently have with this truck. So we just clicked on um, view active status codes. Uh, first time I saw this, I was confused by this option. What you gotta do here, but I mean, 13, 13 liter, whatever. And then most of the I work on them are the USA 14s. Next, click next, next again, and continue, continue again. And then now we're here, it's loading our codes. <sighs> so, what do we got here? Oh, I didn't see this yesterday. We've got an active steering angle sensor. Okay, so we will just go down. I'll try to explain as much of these as I can. Uh, exhaust gas for circulation, one valve position, flow insufficient detected. And you kind of want to go down and look at the other one. So like you have this one, EGR temperature sensor. That's a very, very common problem on these D13s going out. And then once that sensor goes out, um, I had that happen on my dad's truck where that sensor went out and uh, his driver was calling him saying it's smoking black and my dad was already ordering a turbo thinking it's a turbo but it got home I hooked up and it just had like 4,000 counts for that code uh, for that sensor I replaced that sensor and the truck's been driving good ever since so that sensor does a lot of damage so it just pretty much says that the EGR is getting higher temperature so the, val the valve stops working correctly and the flow gets messed up as you can see right here the EGR control I limit flow too low you know you have 200 for a temperature sensor and then temperature sensor again so two different kind of faults with 220 so counts each then we have this crankcase sensor um, so right now the guy unplugged the crankcase pressure sensor to get home but pretty much if that crankcase sensor goes out it starts shutting the truck off every couple minutes and the only way to get home is unplugging it and I'll explain when I'm replacing, I'll explain kind of what what it does and why it shuts it off. But yeah, it starts shutting it off and it thinks the engine is going to blow up. I don't know what else we got here. EGR temperature to high, see 4,156 times. Uh, we got diesel, no, no. Then we got another active one, NOx sensor, incorrect value at startup. Knock sensor bank one sensor two circuit open. Knock sensor circuit high bank one sensor two, thousand three hundred sixty one times. Knock sensor performance all for sensor two. So I'm just gonna do my best to kind of document what I what I do, but I do have all the parts here. So everything that I'm found yesterday is gonna be the EGR temperature sensor. The uh, the knock sensor uh, bank one sensor two is going to be the outlet knock sensor and then that crankcase sensor so let's get to work this is crankcase sensor and it is located right there Kind of jumping around so we replaced that crankcase sensor somewhere down there now we're took the valve cover off what we're going to be doing is replacing the wiring harness as you can see um from that so this this is the injector wiring harness um there's a seal right there and it starts leaking and everybody who i talk to says if you replace the seal, it's not going to help much because this guy's been saying that when the truck's driving, it's, it can kind of vibrate. Like hit a bump and it, you know, loses power. And if you touch all this wiring, it's kind of like crusty. You know, all these zip tie holders are broken. I think that's why everybody says to be careful with Volvos because these zip ties let things break. Uh, it's not going to be fun if it gets in somewhere. So each zip tie that broke, you know, I tried to find all the missing pieces. But yeah, unhook the 
all the injector stuff. I wanna take it out, put the new one in so I can close the valve cover up. Just not have it open for too long. Um, then I'll show you guys the rest of the wiring. The issue that was going on with the wiring Good sign. And we got all uh, pieces dry. What's the other piece? You ever got it out? There it is. And here that we got going on. We got some oil in here. And a lot of oil in there. And some sensors had just oil in it, so none of that could have been helping. But yeah, we got it out. Here's the new one. Yeah, this job is kind of kind of regretting do starting it or taking it. But yeah, hopefully we'll get this sucker in fast. And I am ready to go on my vacation. These kind of jobs where like I have to push myself to record after the long after a long day of work because uh, last thing I want to do is record. But I recorded a bit a little clip of the just the harness me being done with it. But um, yeah, so I installed it. So the main complaint was um, the driver said that when you're driving down the road and hit a bump, you know the truck cuts out. And I noticed in the front that. Uh, that uh, injector harness is leaking and so I told the guy that you know I mean it's a common problem on Volvo's you know so I told him got to replace it and once I started doing that I started pulling connectors off and when I pulled the ECM connectors off they were just oil in the top two connectors and that's not good because um, electricity don't like oil um, so I, I, I think that was a good call um, I replaced the harness, replaced the injector harness, I replaced those few sensors, um, cleared the codes, ran the truck, nothing, um, nothing's there, nothing came back. So I would call that a successful, successful job. And I'll probably start posting a little bit more of Volvos just because I'm trying to uh, work on them a little more and learn them a little more. Because just in case I do um, relocate somewhere and that area has a lot more uh, Volvos. Um, so I'm just trying to kind of, uh, how do you call it, widen my horizon of uh, knowledge. Um, it's always good to be versatile and know a little bit a little bit about everything. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. But uh, yeah, um, when I first started working on Volvos, I was like, man, these trucks are so hard. Just like I thought with pack cars, you know, but it's once you get them down, you know, any truck, once you get it down, once you have some knowledge of how things work and what each thing is, because every truck, every engine, every, every after treatment system has its own, has its own, you know, uh, quirks to it. It's, it's generally all the same, but like there's small things that each, each manufacturer adds to make itself not, not be like the other guy. So, um, 
yeah, I'm just learning. I'm just learning the Volvo one, and so far it's been it's been treating me pretty well. And guys are happy. I'm happy, and you know, work is there with Volvos, you know, especially with those injectors, injector cups, knock sensors, um, those EGR temperature sensors. Those things go out. Shoot, you, you would. I mean, they cause so much trouble. Like I said previously. Um, those things can make you think that you need a turbo or a EGR valve or something, maybe even an engine, but it'll be smoking black and it'll be just that thing. Just like I said, it's always on my dad's truck. You know, those are always good to have, even just a spare. It's like an $80, $90 sensor, but it's good to keep even a spare of those if you have a Volvo. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. I, I buttoned up the harness, made it look good, made it look nice. Um, hopefully everyone's happy. I know I am. And that job took me a while just because it was my first one. Uh, just to learn it, to, you know, know what the job's about. So in the future, I, you know, if I want to do the job, I can say yes. If not, then say no, I'll take it to the next guy. This job it just was really dirty since this guy had like a, just a filthy oil leak and a coolant leak all up, in, up, all up under the truck and no way around it. So I kind of had to get really dirty. I don't like getting dirty. I know it sounds weird coming from a mechanic, but um, sometimes you have to, I guess. Um, but yeah, guys, like I guess I would say, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying my videos, uh, posting a little bit more frequently. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in. All right, guys, see you guys in the next one.